Howdy guys, Nintendo Caprice on here, and welcome back to Let's Play A Link Between Worlds. In the last episode, we did the Dark Palace, which was very nice. Actually, pretty sloppy, because I was too busy telling my stupid Virginia story then. But yeah, I was kind of trying to explain a little bit about, you know, the, the history behind the 2005 videos, and a little bit more about what went on there. I do actually have a video somewhere where I told that story in a lot more detail, because there was more to it. There was this whole thing about, like, you know, me saying I wanted to stick around in Wisconsin until November instead of May, and just transfer to a one-bedroom apartment, because another part of the reason that I was trying to get away was because my sister and her boyfriend at the time, or her husband at the time, rather, were living with me. And it didn't seem like they were ever going to do anything or go anywhere. They were just living with me and with the kids. And it was getting on my nerves because I was paying for the whole apartment myself. And I wanted my privacy back. And it seemed like as long as I stayed there, they were just going to keep you know, taking advantage of it. So I had to get out. So I moved to Virginia, kind of out of spite almost, to say, here, let's see how far you can get without me. And well, you know, they managed. <laughs> Then it turned out that I ended up taking advantage of her and living with her when I got back here because I didn't have a job or anything when I got back here. So I was lucky to even have a place to live at all. Okay, I bashed the trees in the in high rule, but did I do it in low rule? Or was it low rule where I did it and I didn't do it in high rule, maybe? Two bees! <laughs> That's so dumb. That's so grody. Is that actually like a word? Do people actually say that? Oh, look at there. It's a good thing I checked, because if I hadn't, I might have lost that my my forever. Let me check the map here for a second. Um, there's three my mys in that one little section there by the graveyard. There's still six just in the section that we were just in. That's what really blows my mind. I don't think I've been over here, though, so... I know there's at least one on top of one of these over here. Yeah, right here. So get this one. There's actually a lot more to, to explore up here that we haven't looked at yet. So, uh, maybe we should do that. Except, do we really... Yeah, let's do it. Let's check it out. <laughs> what do you say? It'll be fun. Except there's gonna be more my eyes stuck under... Titans Mint Rocks. So I really just need to go ahead and do that Sand Dungeon. That's the one I'm doing next. I just decided that. Like, literally, just now. Oh, that's as far as we can go here? Okay, see. Oh, ow. Boy, Dirty Tree and a Turd, huh? Um, thank you so much. That was, good. That was actually not bad. I'm getting tons of rupees from these trees, man. Who knew? Maybe it's a sign that I need to be, uh, like a woodcutter or some kind of logger or something. I don't know, dude. Can I get across there? Oh, how I wish I could. There's gotta be some Mai Mai's in the water. Or even up on the wall. Who knows? There's one right there. There's a warp back there, too. I didn't even see that there. We may have to yet take advantage of that. Are we sure there's no more my mines down here? Let me just check. Because, I mean, why not? You know, you, could, you never know. This is... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, okay. Good, I'd, good thing I stopped when I did. I don't want to think about where that waterfall goes. The funny thing is, in a game like Ocarina of Time, they, they'd almost have to answer that question, because you would go, and then you'd go off the screen and into some glitch town or something. Can I? Ugh, wow. That was really annoying there just now. I feel like I could get up the ladder all the way. And this bridge is out. Do we still have, like, that hookshot target over here? Like we did in the first game, I wonder? I don't think we do, but I'm gonna check it out. Oh. Nah, even if there was something, it doesn't look like I could reach it. Yeah, they really segregated these areas in this game, so they made sure that if you're in one, you're not getting to the other one. 
These guys are so annoying. No, not. Like, I guess you just have to be like right up on top of them or something. Like, hey, there we go. I think I'm gonna go back and take that warp. I want to get back and turn in my mind eyes, but I'm just having issues figuring out when exactly I want to do that. Maybe now's the time. Now that I'm going back to high rule here. Nope, get off of the. Oh, I should have went to the right. Oh, dog. Oh, wait, wait a minute, though. What am I doing? All I gotta do is just get up here. And voila. Oops. Sorry, Link, you're not gonna pull him off of there. Can I pick you up with my sword? I don't wanna do that. <laughs> I'd feel bad if I did. So let's bring up the Mime Eyes on the map here. So there's five in this area, huh? Can we... Ooh. Now that cave over there, that bombable cave right there, is one of those ruby dungeons. I'm almost thinking that what I might do is do those, like, after I finish the game or something, like, as bonus videos. I don't even know. Okay, let's see. Oops. <laughs> I was trying to use A to dash. My bad. There's one up here. Looks like we need to get that from the other side, though, which is unfortunate because I can't do that. I hear you, birdie. We're getting nothing done in this video. Okay, so what, um, what am I doing? Let's do it now. Let's turn in the Mime Eyes right now. While we're thinking about it, before we have a chance to think of something else that we didn't do or needed to do or forgot to do or whatever do. And check it out, I have exactly 1,200 rupees. You know what that means. Uh, not really. <laughs> I should be. Well then, maybe this tip will hook you on the whole quick, quick thing. See the slider on the item selection screen? You guessed it, you can slide the slider left and right. Okay, let's do it. Oh, do I have to advance the text first? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, sure. Oh uh, yeah, that made, that made enough sense for now, anyway. <laughs> sure thing. Now, ice rod time. What? You're already renting the ice rod, but if you want to buy that, it'll be 1,200 rupees. Hey, guess what? I have exactly 1,200 rupees. How often does that happen? That's like winning the pick four right there, man. Woo! Thanks for being such a great customer! Alright. <laughs> oh my god, man, you're crazy. You're crazy, man, you're crazy as hell. You were hiding in the bushes outside my house. I do not approve of that. You soldiers. Don't you have a base to go to or something? Well, at least I picked up a rupee from you. Which is infinitely more than what I had five seconds ago. Because one is infinitely more than zero. I knew you'd be able to help me. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I had no idea what kind of voice I was going to have a second ago. I really kind of am not crazy about that nasal ass voice that I do sometimes. It just sounds kind of stupid, you know. You're going to upgrade the ice rod? Yes. If anything, I should have probably upgraded the sand rod. So I did say I was going to do that one next. What I'm actually thinking is I'm going to just go do the tower next. Because you can get like a shit ton of rupees there. Bing! Alright. If I just picked up four more. Or if I just picked up one more my am I? I could have upgraded five items here instead of four. Oh, I can upgrade the sand rod. Well, do it. Do it, sir. The only real difference when he upgrades the sand rod is that, well, first of all, you have to know what the sand rod actually does to really understand how the upgrade works. So basically what the sand rod does is if you're standing on a raised platform and there's another raised platform that you need to get to, 
where like normally you might hook shot to it or something, but there's no hook shot target or anything to get you over there. And there's sand in between the platforms. Then um you use the sand rod from that platform and it brings the sand up and makes a bridge out of the sand. It makes columns come up. I'm not sure what the difference is with the hookshot other than possibly attack damage. I don't think it gets any longer. Because it already reaches to the edge of the screen as it is. Mm-hmm. So I almost got half of them. Am I doing good, Mommy? Am I doing good? It's actually inside the sanctuary. That's right. In this game, you warp to the Dark World from inside the sanctuary. After the second quake, strange cracks appeared. It must have some connection to what has happened. I can do nothing, I'm afraid, but hope for peace to be restored. You should not stand so close to this, sir. You might inhale some of the toxic fumes of low rule. And we would not want that. Hello. Nobody bothers coming to this place anymore. But even I must wonder, have we abandoned the gods or have they abandoned us? I don't know. I have no idea. That's a good question. I see rupees. You know what? I'm robbing you. I'm robbing you. Sorry, I know this is probably your savings. You probably had some amiibos up there too. But whatever. I, I've yet to figure out how to get that treasure chest. I think you have to come in from like... Just like that graveyard path or something. Maybe there's an equivalent to that. Oh, hello. Why are you talking to me? There's no dungeon here. Where you stand now was once a holy place. Now it could not be further away from such a thing. However, nearby sleeps something that will help you on your journey. A thorough search will behoove you. Okay. Oh, I'll, I'll do that. Oh, you know what else I need to do? While I'm here, I need to forge my sword. I need to get that done too while we're here. First things first, though. Bash the trees! Bash the trees! Oh no. Um, okay, there's a mine. I'll take care of you first. Now that gives us 50. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Go ahead and do what this, whatever this is. Why not? We could see this on the way here, but we couldn't do anything about it because we were in high roll. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty much just like the first game, though. You know, you couldn't do anything about it in the first game either. You had to go to the dark world, get up there, and then warp to the light world. So it's really kind of the same thing here. There's actually two things we can do here. There's a heart piece. <laughs> wow, that was really difficult to find. I'm. I, I don't know how I would have found that if not for my seeing eye uh, dog. The problem is, if you want to get this Mai Mai, then, you know, you can't get back to the warp. However, it's only a short walk over to the sanctuary. So I hope everybody's doing alright on this fine, fine day. This might end up being a video, like, that goes up while I'm gone. I'm not sure. Depends on the timing. Wait, where are you? Huh? Can it be? You can see Dampy? How can you be here if you're... Huh. Yeah, that is really weird. That is freaky, man. Thorough search. Oh, I can, I can bet you anything I need the Titan's Mitt to do this. The Titan's Mitt, as I would have said. Back when I was 15. You really gotta watch though, because like even the most innocent looking grass could end up housing a mine mine, you wouldn't even know it. Or the most innocent looking tree for that matter. That gives us 52. Damn, well there's a treasure over here too. It's treasure trove cove down here, isn't it? Hang on. No, not you. Yeah, I blew your ass up, didn't I? Excuse me. Oh, wow. That definitely is... What? That's an AI person. That's probably his plan all along, is walk away from me. And then come back to me when I was least expecting it. That's more like a really clever football play, is all that is. 
Wait just a gosh darn moment here. Okay, then it's not... Because, see, I remember you go back behind the blacksmith and you jump off and you end up here, don't you? Or no. I was. I was right there at it. I was right there at it like a dumbass and I just went the wrong way. Whoops. <laughs> You're the kid the boss's wife picked up, eh? I don't know what I can do for you. I just work here, you know what I mean? I say work, but it's not like we're all that busy here, you know? You told me that already. I don't need to talk to the guy outside. He was the one who was dissing on my sword. Well, here. Are you really running around with a sword like that? Sheesh. Uh, yeah? Hang on a second. Is it... Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. My bad. I'm, oh my god. I'm even stupider than I thought. Okay, so after about two minutes of me wasting time going to the blacksmith in low rule, I remembered that you're supposed to go to the blacksmith in high rule to actually get this first upgrade. So I don't know what I was thinking. Go to the blacksmith in low rule. Are you serious? So anyway, just right over here. By the way, I found your son. Explain it to her, Link. What did you say? Oh, that's good. I'm so relieved. But he can't come back yet. Well, that's alright. So long as he's fine. I can't let him see me like this. That I almost lost all, but of course I knew he'd come back. I'll make his favorite dessert. I'll have something so yummy waiting for him that he'll know everything's okay. <laughs> Where's Josh? I want to speak to him. Well, ask me something that only he would know. Ask him what I used to sing to him every night. Isn't there something else you'd rather ask him? Ask him! Okay, fine. Alright, we gotta do this sword. I'm not singing memories. I'm done quoting that movie. I know you were probably hoping that I would sit here and go, Memories. I pour on my mind. Misty watercolored memories. Of the way we were. Scattered. Pictures. <laughs> Good lord. I don't think I've ever actually heard the real version of that song. All I've heard is the Tom Hanks version. Yeah, maybe it will. And you've increased the power of the Master Sword. You can feel its power throbbing in your hands. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. We won't go there. But man, look at that. Listen to that sound. That's a sword. Ah! Stupid yawns, man. Jeez. Okay, well, let's, uh... Okay, one more thing before I leave here. I want to grab this Mai Mai over here. <laughs> I almost forgot that the little guy was there, but sure enough, he was. I saw a couple of Mai Mai's actually on my way through the race. I was so stupid on that race. I kept going the wrong way. Like, I should have come up through here. Through this screen right here. It would have been faster. I would have gotten to the end faster. I would have won the race faster. And I want to save myself uh, quite a bit of frustration. Okay, I'm not crazy. I saw a mine line on the wall. On the right, on my way up. There it is. I was gonna say, I know that you're there. You're not gonna hide from me. And then there was like another one up here. Oh, my eye. It's my eyes are cockjacking. Okay, and this right here is yet another rupee dungeon. I think. But I'm gonna make double sure. You know, maybe I. Um, it's not! It's not! Oh, it's just a red rupee, okay. Well, that's as good as anything else. Oh, something was coming out there to attack me. I don't know what it was. I'm not sticking around to find out. Is there anything else I can do, like, in the Lost Woods that I couldn't do before? I don't think so. I wonder if any of these trees... Oh, you know what? 
there's another my mind that I know about. And I think if I don't get it now... Let me see what's over here. I know this is like... Oh, this is another one of those you have to have the Titans mitt. Never mind. Never mind. I gotta get that freaking Titans mitt. It's about to get that Titans mitt. Then I'm never gonna do anything. Okay, I know I'm... I, I have to... Oh, jeez, there's one down there too. Let me grab this one. I'm on a mine like kick here all of a sudden, guys. You have to forgive me. There's one. Oh, I knew it. I knew there was one there. I thought you could hide from me, eh? Probably warping would be quicker, but I'm just gonna take the long way around here. Okay, here in the central woods here. Oh my god, where did all these guys come from? It's up there. It's a my my. Do not forget him. He could very well be your number 100, and I would just be lucky to guess something like that, but who knows? Should we end off the video with a song? That was, those were pretty good days when I used to end the videos off of songs. Now, they're just as boring as crap, because I don't have a thing to talk about. You delivered a safe and sound, thanks a bunch. I don't know how I can ever repay you. How about this? From now on, you only need to pay half price for milk. You're my favorite customer now, hey. Well, now while I'm here, sure. Why not? Let's see here. Heard the news? People are being kidnapped. Scary stuff. But there's nothing like music to ease the mood. How about a song to go with your milk? And a one, and a two, and a...